Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about empties. I try a lot of things and I spend a lot of money on things that I don't need and I'm trying to get better about that. But that has been my track record for the majority of the 30 years I've been here on earth. So yeah, if you have questions about a product, chances are your girl probably tried it. So today I'm giving you the full review, what you need to know on each and every one of these empties. Some of them I love, some of them I hate, some of them I would repurchase, but most of them I wouldn't. So make sure that you subscribe and click that bell if you have not done so yet. And if you've gone ahead and done so, then let's go ahead and just hop right into the video. I have a lot of shower things, a lot of shower things. And I have to say to y'all, I'm over it. And I hate every single one. Oh no, no, no. I love this one. I love this one. But the rest of them, they're kind of just like whatever. So let's start off on a positive note. My Shea Moisture Calm and Comfort Body Wash. Cannabis, sativa, hemp seed oil with aloe and chamomile. There is not CBD oil or THC. So nothing will get you high in this bottle. That is unfortunate. I would rather the opposite, but my mom and I went to CVS one day. She needed to go pick something up and she had a coupon and she was like, get something. I have a coupon. This like instantly relaxes me. It's so sticky. It just has like a very clean and like calming scent to it. It's very hydrating. Like honestly, every night when I get out of the shower, I always put body lotion on. Very rarely do I not. But like when I was using this, maybe once a week, I was in a rush and I didn't put body lotion on. My skin wasn't dry. It wasn't like painful and like itchy. Like I'm not kidding you. I wonder, I have put like holes in my leg, I can't lift my leg up that high. I've got holes in my leg, okay, from like itching so hard on my skin because it's so dry in the winter. The body wash that I was using before that one is this one I saw in an ad in a magazine and it got me, the ad really got me. But they also didn't have the one that I wanted. Hmm. So I'm a little bamboozled, but now I don't really want to uh, buy the other one. So this is the Olay Exfoliating Moisture Sea Salt. This has B3 complex for hydration. It was okay. Honestly, like it didn't leave my skin extremely hydrated. It leaves your skin more hydrated than like a bar of soap would. It smelled nice, but it just, I expected a lot more of it because I had seen the ad and was excited about the ad and saw that it was supposed to help with like collagen, hydration and filling in lines. And it just, it made a lot of promises. And the Shea Moisture one, was coming off of one that let me down and also I had no expectations going into purchasing that one. So I will justify my feelings on this, you know, being shitty for high expectations, but it wasn't great. Was it okay? Yeah. Would I use it again? Like if I were to see this in the shower, would I be like, oh, absolutely not. I'm not using it. No, I would use it. I would use it. I don't think I'll come back to it though. Okay, also shower things. Two shampoos that I absolutely hated. Reline Biotin Growth Support Volumizing Shampoo. I hated it, but I also liked it. I really think that this grew my hair to be so freaking long. Like I chopped my hair off a couple years ago and it grew back so fast because I looked for a Biotin shampoo. This is specifically for hair loss therapy. It's for thicker hair and added volume. It wasn't a very cleansing shampoo. It definitely did the job in terms of helping my hair grow longer, but volume, there was no volume to be had. It doesn't suds up. So if you're someone that likes a sudsy, like scrape your skin, scalp, you know, kind of a shampoo. This is not it. If you're looking for your hair to grow longer, I would recommend this though. Like give it a shot. It was kind of expensive. I think it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Not like super expensive, but not like super cheap. Definitely like mid tier price. Also, this is disgusting. Okay. This, I'm sorry. That's not nice. But this is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Shampoo with Caravis and Argan Oil. It's supposed to be for normal to dry hair types and it's just supposed to be really, really hydrating. This left my hair feeling like grease ball. Too hydrating, not enough cleansing. It really got to the point where I stopped using this on as shampoo altogether and I was full on only using it as like shaving cream. Like it's a shampoo, you can, and it was moisturizing. So it kind of felt like using a conditioner to shave my legs and other areas of my body. But yeah, no, I think I maybe used this like five times and then was like, absolutely not, this is horrid. 
and I used it as a shaving cream, you know, improvise because I didn't want to waste my money, but I also didn't want this to touch my scalp ever again. It was too hydrating. And I started getting like oil buildup in my hair because I wasn't washing my hair super, super frequent. But also I was using that shampoo that wasn't really like cleaning, like cleansing my hair. Other hair things, and I also have more shower things. I love this, oh my God, Acquise Prime. This is the Water Defense Pre-Wash. Wet hair is weak, that's what it says on the front. This is just like a pre-shampoo, kind of like mask in a spray. It's so nice, super easy, super user-friendly. You literally just mist it directly onto dry hair. And then yeah, you spray evenly, set for a couple minutes before washing. I would leave this in for like a few hours, just spray it all on my hair. I would like dampen my hair with this, comb it throughout using a wide tooth comb. I don't know why I always want to call a comb a brush even though they're two separate things and my mom my entire childhood would always correct me every time I said it and now it's like I only specific it's like I get confused but I also know the difference. I don't know it's very weird but yeah I used a wide tooth toothed a wide toothed comb to no see I just did it again. I used a wide toothed no yeah, a comb, not a brush. What is wrong with me? And then I would just like wrap this in a low bun, work out, hang out, and then wash my hair. So, so good. It was very nourishing. It really made my hair feel soft. And now I'm using the, oh my God, what is it? That is like, it's that like bonding one that everyone talks about and I can never remember the name of it. What kind of beauty guru are you? Huh? I don't know, I'm not good with names, okay? But I know it works and what doesn't. Give me a second. Olaplex, there you go, Olaplex. I love that, but you like have to get your hair wet and then you gotta put it on and then you gotta wait in it. It's just, I like that this could go into dry hair. It was fuss free and I liked it. So nice and it's not sticky. I don't like sticky hair things at all, gross out. Two body washes. Ugh, I felt meh about both of them. So this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This was really expensive for 13 full ounces. I like the packaging. It doesn't really smell like the Boom Boom Cream. It smells kind of like a, a fake version of it. I don't know, it didn't leave my booty feeling super moisturized. I think this was more moisturizing than the Olay one though, but I would never justify spending the money on this. I mean, the Olay one is bigger. You know, I just, no, this is a no for me. And if you are a Boom Boom Cream lover like I am, I feel like this will be a letdown for you, as will their body spray. I forgot the name of it. I'll put it down below, but I know they have a few of them out. The one I tried, absolute letdown. Smells disgusting. Shimmering Snow Lace. It was nice. It definitely smelled like the Christmas season and same kind of thing. It wasn't very, very hydrating. There was no wow factor. Vici Mineral 89 Serum. Love it. I want to repurchase it. I want an Ulta though when they only have like the one ounce size. Where is the big daddy size? Like I like this one. This is beautiful under makeup. Beautiful by itself. It's just a really comfortable serum in the morning that's very hydrating. I'm pretty sure it has hydraulic, hyaluronic acid, hydraulic acid, hyaluronic acid in it. Really nice. I need to go to Ulta and scope this out because I have a feeling they don't sell this size anymore and I don't like that because I love it so much that it's like when I use it, I just want to pump and pump and pump and then just like rub it all over me. It's like a, it's like an erotic experience, me and my skincare. Oh God, so good. Some of these things that I love. Ooh, like this. Sobel Skin RX, 15% niacinamide gel serum. It firms and smooths and it's really nice. And they say that it's not good for sensitive skin, but this never bothered my skin. Took away a lot of the finer lines in my face. Definitely lifted some of those deeper ones to fill them a little bit more. It is so it's expensive, it's like $70, but I will buy this again. It is in my Sephora hearts section for when I go on the Sephora sale after I've gone through all of the serums that I have in my collection right now and I need a new serum, I will come back to you, baby. Baby, come back. So fucking good. Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum, really good, great serum. I really like this vitamin C serum. I'm very picky with vitamin C serums. I'm not using one right now. There's just, I could make room for it in my skincare routine, but I'm liking where I'm at. And the one that I have right now is a lot thicker than this one. I love this. If you are someone that likes skincare, but thin skincare, nothing too overbearing, nothing too scented, nothing too thick, something that's friendly, not gonna irritate your skin. Oh my God, guys, this is so, so good. Just do make sure 
sure that if you are using this during the day, you put sunscreen over it. Never wear vitamin C out in the world without SPF on because it kind of, you can get sunburn, honestly. I don't know what it does, but it kind of like attracts the rays, absorbs the rays maybe, I don't know, but it's not good for your skin. So make sure that you're wearing SPF. I hated this, oh my God. This is the Ultra Repair Cream First Aid Beauty. It just like left my hands feeling really powdery and I don't like that very greasy. No, gross, grosso. It's like I felt like anytime I went to go pick something up, it was going to fall out of my hands and it just made me feel like sticky and I don't like that. This is not even empty, but I need to get rid of it because it's disgusting. This is the Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil. It just... It, it doesn't stay on your lips. The second that it leaves your lips, you need more. It's kind of like one of those things. It's not hydrating at all. It leaks everywhere. Like this is all, oh, this was all over my vanity. This was all over the little like lip set that I had it standing up in. Like I had this bitch standing up and she had the audacity to leak standing up. Like who leaks standing up? I'm putting this in the garbage, sorry. An oil that was a lovely oil for me. Mark Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter for your hair, so, so good. I got this in an Ipsy bag, I think. This was like a trial size. I got not even a full ounce of it. It lasted me a really long time. Put it in my palms. I probably put like a dime size, I would say. Rubbed it between my fingers applied it to the ends of my hair, which is just how I apply any and all hair oils. This introduced me to the world of hair oils and how much my hair loves them. Let's very quickly go through mascaras. I loved all of these. This is the Douce, never know how to say it, Punk Volumizer Mascara. Got this in an Ipsy bag. It is so good. I'm definitely gonna buy a full size somewhere down the road. And this is not a brush that I normally like. It's like massive and huge, but it just separated my lashes and pulled them apart and gave them like the perfect volume and length, which is really rare to find, especially for me. I don't have a lot of lashes and they're not very long so staple classic love it l'oreal telescopic will definitely buy this again it has been a hot minute since i have used this but this is just such a good brush especially you know if you have smaller eyes that can get kind of like overpowered by a wand such a good recommend like such a drugstore staple the best drugstore mascara i've ever used a close second that you can find at sally's collab the works wow all in one mascara the pink one don't get the other colors the other colors are not as good this bottle of mascara will never die i've had it for a really long time. I stopped using it a few months ago, honestly, because it's so expired, but it is just jam-packed to the brim with mascara. I will say it gives a little bit more volume, at least for my lashes, than it does length. It is really beautiful. And if you're looking for a good drugstore-priced mascara, I highly recommend that. This is just like good for every day. This is not like for my glam babes out there who wanna like beat their face and just like pile the mascara on so much so that it looks like they're wearing falsies. This, that ain't it, babe, this ain't it. But if you're someone that just wants to go to work and use a really nice mascara that has a nice wand, you can just get in there and it's just going to naturally coat them, then by all means, I recommend this guy. This is the Maybelline Snapscara Black Cherry Shade. So it's like a dark purple. I wish I got a more fun shade because you couldn't really tell. It kind of just looks black. My favorite waterproof mascara, Lights Camera Splashes by Tarte. Love the wand. It really does last a really long time. Doesn't smudge, no flaking. It's so good. Um, and yeah, I just, I really like it. I just kind of hate the packaging. This little like brim guy gets in the way. So if they could just chop that off, that would be nice, beneficial. Waste a little bit less plastic too. And holy hell, I love this mascara. And I need to buy this again. Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Curl Mascara. I love love this wand. Oh my god, this was like my go-to mascara for the longest time. So I need to take a couple pictures of those mascaras before recycling them because I'm definitely going to be repurchasing them. Arch Brow Shaping Gel by Hourglass. This is so freaking expensive, but so good. It really keeps your lashes in place all day long. It has different brush sizes so you can like play around with really pinning them down and giving you the shape, you know, focusing on the shape that you really want. Beautiful, very expensive. I did not buy this. I don't think I would ever buy this again. Um, pretty expensive, but Hourglass sent it to me, which was so sweet of them, so kind of them. Hourglass, if you want to send me more of this or anything else, really, because I'm a 
huge fan of the brand, you know, feel free. I just don't know if I would spend that kind of coin on a brow gel because I love these. And these are like $3. I've talked about them so many times. Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I use two colors, the dark brownie brown and the light brownie brown. So good every day. I don't even use a brow pencil when I use these. I literally just use these to go through my brows. One, two, three, done. Shape them and they just look so much better. Super cheap at Ulta, buy them. And I swear to God, every time I go to Ulta, I have so many backups of them. I see them, I buy them because oftentimes they're sold out or a lot of Ultas don't carry them. So if you see them, grab them. This is another lip product that I'm throwing out. I hate it, it's so bad. This is the Grown Alchemist Watermelon and Vanilla Lip Balm. It's so watery, it just goes all over my face. It's a mess. I just feel like I've used it so many times and I've gone through like none of it. It's just, it's gross and I'm just, I feel bad doing this, but I'm just gonna throw it out because I hate it so much. I'm never gonna, well, you know, maybe I'll ask Mike if he wants it. Maybe he would like it. He likes opposite things in me. I don't like to throw things out. Speaking of Miguel, he actually gave me this lip balm that was sent to him. It's a small trial size of the Malin and Goats lip moisturizer. So good, I really liked it. He didn't like it. See, we have opposite opinions on lip products, I guess. So maybe he'll like the Grown Alchemist one. He didn't like it, so he gave it to me. I really liked it, it was nice. It kind of had like a gel consistency. It's a little thicker, which is my kind of vibe in any kind of gloss or chapstick, any kind of lip thing. I like a thicker consistency. Also this, love this, favorite eye mask. I'm trying to finish one right now. The second that I finish it, I have one of these in my beauty closet ready to go. She's ready to be cracked open. But the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol, eye sleeping mask. I can't wait. My my lines are like, they don't bother me. And you know why they don't bother me? Genuinely. And I don't just say this to myself to make myself feel better. I just think like, wow, I have these lines under my eyes that only show when I smile because I smile and I laugh so much. I'm just such a happy person, you know? And I'd rather have lines and be happy than not have lines and just be like, you know, sad and not smiling and laughing all the time. So they don't really bother me, but you know, if I can use a little moisturizer to help fill them in a little bit, like I'm down. So I'm very, very excited to go through the one that I'm using right now. I'm finishing off the Shiseido, the Benefiance 24 hour one. I've just, I've had it for a really long time. It's good, I'm just over it. And I'm ready to open this one again because I haven't used this one in like a good six months. Finally, I think finally, I received this as a trial size. I'm gonna buy this in the Sephora sale. I forgot to buy it in the last one, so the next one, I feel like there's a damn Sephora sale like every other month, so I don't feel like I missed out. I feel like, you know, I'll get it when I get it. But this is the Christoph Robin, which makes me think of Christopher Robin, you know, Minnie the Pooh. Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. This is like a scalp scrub. It's for sensitive or oily scalps. And I found out that although I thought my scalp was dry, it was actually oily. And this is a really good job of like breaking up product in your scalp. So if you are someone that uses like a ton of dry shampoo, which I don't, I actually hate dry shampoo, like with a passion. Like I use dry shampoo, but I've been trying to wash my hair often enough where I don't need it just because I hate it so much. But if I use it, I'm committing. Like I am putting it in blood that that night my hair is getting washed no matter what happens. Cause I am not sleeping on my pillow with dry shampoo. I don't know, it just it grosses me out. And like my dry skin, I just think of powder on my face. I don't know, I just, it's not. Not for me. If you're someone that does use dry shampoo or a lot of hairspray, just any product really gets into your scalp, salt in here is really gonna break it up so that when you go in with your shampoo after using this, it'll just wash it all out and really cleanse the scalp. So my friends, that is it. This kind of stuff makes me so happy. I love using things that I spend my money on. I love wasting less because, you know, I know that I'm still wasting all of these things. I am recycling, but I also know that not everything gets recycled even when you do recycle it. It makes me feel better that I used it and I didn't waste anything because wasting and just being wasteful in general is just like a pet peeve of mine. So I love this. I love going through things. I love using them up. And I most of all love sharing my thoughts and opinions with you guys. Let me know down below in the comment section what is a product that you have used up recently? Have you used any of the products that I mentioned today? If you have, what was it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you agree with my sentiments? Did you disagree? Let me know. I would love to hear it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me again and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.